This 24-foot cruiser actually sweeps four, and as it's mounted in its floating bed, it seems to be actually floating down Washington Avenue. Eleven finalists for the Miss Miami Beach title are on the float. The smallest contestant, Miss Jacqueline Modesit, is riding behind the boat. And maybe she was riding before it. And it's escorted by the smallest Miami Beach JC. They're, both on they're, the throwing, they're throwing oranges, Charlie. Wonderful. Uh, they are really cute girls, you know that? They, they are, are really cute girls. But that's not a Thunderbird, and March I'm prejudiced. March 29th for their beauty contest at the Carillon Hotel. The active Miami Beach JCs now boast 65 members, by the way. And we have some police units from the Miami Springs, Florida, with a canine dog in the rear seat, guarding everybody beautifully. He looks a little unruly, Charlie. Yes, he does. Now we're going to another float here. Luke, this is the uh, combined float of the Hialeah Miami Springs Chamber of Commerce. The float's in the form of a series of clam shells. Uh, these gals don't look like clams. Miss, Miss Hialeah Vicki Laufler is standing in the highest shell on the float. The other five girls are all from Hialeah or Miami Springs. Yolanda Smith, Sandra Hudson, Carol Martin, Sherry Scooper, and Grace Cook. Uh, say, Luke, do dolphins like clipper eat clams by any chance? Uh, no, they don't, uh, Charlie. They don't eat anything except fish, raw fish, and they like it live, but we feed ours dead ones. Oh. And they like it just as much. And those are really cute girls. You keep commenting about the girls all the time, Luke. <laughs> well, and, uh, I think it's a conditioned reflex, Charlie. <laughs> Very good. Now suppose we take a look at the Understanding Through Communications float of Southern Bell Telephone Company. The center of the float features a large revolving globe so that lights radiating out point to France, Japan, the Caribbean, the South Seas, and England. The girls on the float represent those countries, of course, and each of them are taking, or rather talking on telephones, which are linking the world. The gals in the float are all employees of Southern Bell's Miami Beach office. I've got their names, Charlie. <laughs> you would. <laughs> if we've got time, it's Mrs. Cheryl. Seppel Vita, Mrs. Patricia Seitz, and Sandy Smith, Miss Charlotte Everett, Miss Diane Dickinson, and Miss Ann Marie O'Neill. You sure had them all, buddy. Right. Now suppose we take a look at the Understanding Through Communications float of Southern Bell Telephone Company. The center of the float features a large revolving globe so that lights radiating out point to France, Japan, the Caribbean, the South Seas, and England. The girls on the float represent those countries, of course, and each of them are taking, or rather talking on telephones, which are linking the world. The gals in the float are all employees of Southern Bell's Miami Beach office. I've got their names, Charlie. <laughs> you would. <laughs> if we've got time, it's Mrs. Cheryl Sepulveda, Mrs. Patricia Seitz, and Sandy Smith, Miss Charlotte Everett, Miss Diane Dickinson, and Miss Ann Marie O'Neill. You sure had them all, buddy. Right. Luke Halpin, have you by any possibility uh, marched in any special parades, maybe in Pasadena, the Rose Bowl, uh, or Orange Bowl? No, I uh, was in the Orange Bowl parade, though. Uh, uh, my cohorts in crime, Tommy Norton and Brian Kelly. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what this is like, then. You're a real veteran when it comes to parades. I know that. Yeah, I've been there, too. They've got guns, too. Yes, indeed. Now... I'll tell you, Luke Halpin, star of uh, Ivan Torres Clipper and NBC, we come to the climax of the 50th anniversary of parade. And this float, literally, with the prettiest girls in the world and the universe, the float of the city of Miami Beach, Miss USA, Bobby Johnson is before our sunburst, on the front float unit. The center unit of this float, 55 feet, by the way, in length, features Miss Universe, Karina Sope of Greece, surrounded by the Miss Universe symbol, a globe. And then finally, Miss Miami Beach, Elizabeth Jevness, on the Miami Beach birthday cake with four beautiful attendants. Yes. Since Miami Beach is certainly the best and most beautiful of the world's resort centers, these beautiful girls are certainly the perfect symbol of the anniversary celebration. Yeah, Charlie, that's perfect anyway, I think. Uh, <laughs> right you are, and they look fresh as the proverbial daisies right now, uh, in spite of the fact that they're in the tail end of this parade. And another car, too, will be coming along momentarily after this float goes by. For the senior citizens of Miami Beach, they're riding along. Hey, Charlie. Right. Here comes, here, here comes an elephant, Charlie. Oh, for goodness sakes, winding up the parade here, I guess. 
Yeah. And just dragging along, Luke. Just dragging along. Great big elephant. Well, I guess it's the way, the perfect way to end the fantastic float display of the city of Miami Beach and this parade with Rosie the Elephant. There she is, a living replica of the original Rosie, so famous in the efforts of Carl Fisher to help build Miami Beach. And uh, interestingly enough, back in 1923, there really was an elephant named Rosie who helped load blocks of concrete. Back then, I guess heavy mechanical equipment was just not available for the people, and so elephants had a hand in the building of this great city, which is really quite a twist. Uh, two Seminole Indian children with their mother are wishing us all a happy birthday carrying the sign. Look at the elephant. Just lumbering along there. What's it say on the, on, in, in the stern there? Well, right. it's a final sign, evidently by the First National Bank of Miami Beach, and we'll see that in just a moment. Ah! <laughs> Charlie! You get, there it is! <laughs> right you are, right, Charlie. Charlie I... The end. To a great parade and a great celebration, of course, many, many thanks to our special guest who did a beautiful job, Luke Halpin, the NBC star of Ivan Tours Clipper. Thank we'll be Charlie. watching tonight and every Saturday night, buddy, at 7.30 on NBC and WCKT. Thank you so much. And, of course, many, many thanks to the excellent WCKT cameramen, production assistants, and engineers for their great work this afternoon.